Hey there, Bourbon Real Talk family. Randy Sullivan here. Wanted to do a quick educational video for you about a category of spirit called corn whiskey. So it's a little bit weird because in the United States we have mash bill whiskeys that the predominant grain uh, is the name of the whiskey. So like a rye whiskey has to be at least 51% rye. Um, wheat whiskey has to be at least 51% wheat, so on and so forth. But because we have the category of bourbon, which is at least 51% bourbon, we have this other category called corn whiskey. And they had to change the rules up a little bit so that it would be different than bourbon. So corn whiskey's rules are that it can't be distilled more than 160 proof because uh, as we've discussed when we talked about the definition of mashable bourbon or mashable whiskeys, you start to lose the flavor that is created by what that spirit originated from, in this case, corn. Um, it has to be not less than 80% corn. So it can be 80 to 100% corn and be a, um, to be a corn whiskey. It can be unaged. So they don't have to put it in an oak container at all. And that is the only whiskey that's sold in the United States that doesn't have an oak container requirement. Um, it can be sold as, you know, white dog, um, you know, new make whiskey, whatever you want to call it. Um, it can be aged in a used container, which all of the mashable whiskeys have to be aged in a new charred oak container. So if it's what they call a second fill cask, uh, you, can, you can use the second or third or fourth fill cask for corn whiskey. You can use a new oak container, but if you do, it cannot be charred. Because if you made that one small change, then it would be bourbon, right? Because it could be 100% corn, but if you put it in a new charred oak container, then it's bourbon, it's not corn whiskey. Um, and so you can age it in a new container, but it has to be uncharred. It can be a mixture of the same type of whiskey, meaning you can mix together, you know, multiple barrels of corn whiskey and it's still corn whiskey. So that's pretty much it for the corn whiskey category. Uh, we don't see a lot of them out there, but I've had some really good ones. So if you see one out there and you want to check it out, do so. And give me your comments below what you thought. Talk to you soon.